What? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Hiding until your parents. Oh, is it the little Clementine? What's your name? I'm Clementine. <gasps> this oh. is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh... Pretty old. 37. Oh. Okay. <laughs> where Small are talk. your parents? <laughs> they took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Just where the boats are? Where the bullets are. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the that window. Hat. Looks like it's a pretty, pretty cool hat, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> Grab a kitchen knife! Oh, you stupid piece of shit! Oh, yeah! Yeah, keep kicking the dog guy my leg! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, get socked in the face! Oh, hammer time! One more time. One more time. One more time. Why not? <laughs> Ego, and now I'm so sorry. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh, God. Uh. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Oh, it's not safe at night? Oh, damn. Let's go. Stay close to me. Oh, I, I hope I'm right, or else we're so boned. I'm gonna lose another character, like, in five seconds. They'll be like, Lee or Clementine, who do you choose? I'm like, oh, God! Hopefully it's safe at day. There's other people out in daylight, right? Is that a good thing? Are zombies evil at night? Is that, is that something we do? Clementine! I can't run! Look at me. Well, let's go this way. Come on, Lee. You can do it. You can do it, Bobby Bushy. Alright, uh. I think I can just, I can just press that. Oh, is that a guy? What's up, amigos? Oh, man! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. Yo. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Look at him.
What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I'm not coming. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, amigos. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. He's gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Yeah, it's All right, all right, all right. On this way. Some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I could do the sound effects for this game. Marshall, you home? Uh -oh. That'd be so hey, awesome. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Think reckon down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just um, some, some guy. guy who found her alone. <laughs> Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I don't know if some just some guy was very smart, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. <laughs> What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, shit, wait. Is that Herschel's last name? How'd this happen? 
car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. Mm. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how mm -hmm. big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we dun, do dun, then? Dun. We'll shoot probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, is that... I guess it's the same one. I didn't know he had sons. That's cool. Oh shit, are there dead people in here? It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry. I missed my mom and dad. <laughs> I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Oh, pretty yeah. far. Oh. Road trip. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't say shit in front of Clementine and Euler. Unless she says shit. I don't want to laugh. I thought it was funny. I love you, baby. <laughs> Interesting. Lee, you have quite a story to yourself. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Like the, uh, hat. Oh, what's That's that? That's my boy, Lee. Ken Jr. Uh -huh. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> See? <laughs> uh. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. A fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. 
I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Can I talk with Clem? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, good. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yes, huh? No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Uh -huh. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, okay, okay. I'll talk with you, my amigo. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. That's good to know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. <clears throat> sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Look at me, walking like I'm awesome. Oh, look at them. Look at little Duck on his tractor. Duck. Duck. Duck, 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 duck. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> how you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that sure speed things up. All right, man. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. 
if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. What up, Hirsch? <clears throat> How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> 